welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and a little known fact about me is that I love music. I love a truly wide variety of music, however, none more infamous than that of rock and roll. Heavy metal is a way of life, and I can't think of anything more rock and roll than a bunch of snakes wearing wigs. So why am I talking about heavy metal snakes today? Well, apart from the fact that I want to show off this really cool thumbnail I made and clearly trying to photoshop a glam rock wig on a snake, the main reason I want to discuss this is the phenomenon that snakes have been known to be able to possibly predict when an earthquake happens. Guys, the, uh, the thumbnail might make a little bit more sense once I tell you why. And you might be thinking, surely in such a developed world we don't need to rely on animals and their mannerisms to determine when a natural event is about to occur. Much like when a cow lays down and people commonly believe that they do this before a storm comes. Which uh, a lot of people still believe, believe it or not. Although, think about it. If you're in a third world country and you don't really have access to that sort of technology in order to determine when an earthquake might come, having a snake on hand might just do the trick. Snakes being able to predict an earthquake isn't just isolated to third world countries, however. Take, for example, China, one of the biggest countries in the world and one of the most prone to earthquake incidents happening. China are so prone to this, in fact, they have had five of the world's top 10 most devastating earthquakes, with the top three in the world all happening in China. With historically the most decimating happening in 1556, and it killed an estimated 830,000 people, so you know they're going to want to do everything they can to avoid earthquakes from causing damage. China is one of the countries that is most affected by natural disasters. Natural disasters occur frequently in China, affecting more than 200 million people every year. They've become an important restricting factor for economic and social development. The People's Republic of China in 1971 set up the National Earthquake Administration, who were tasked with the monitoring, research and emergency response to earthquake disasters. This was however renamed to the China Earthquake Administration in 1998, otherwise known as the CEA. Being located on the Eurasian Plate means that you're prone to very, very heavy earthquakes, so anything that they can do to try and limit the impact of it is certainly welcome. So, I hear you asking, where do the snakes come into this? Well, China has been researching with snakes and their strange erratic behaviour in the moment running up to an earthquake. In fact, in southern China, they are monitoring snakes 24 hours a day and correlating the earthquake events with the behaviour of the snakes they're monitoring. I mean, it's sort of like Big Brother, except with snakes. As a matter of fact, it doesn't sound that different at all. Who knows, the real Big Brother might actually be filmed in a Chinese earthquake researched institution, we may just never know. In the events leading up to an earthquake, snakes have been seen to bang their heads prior to an event occurring, so snakes are known to headbang before an earthquake strikes. I guess we all know that snakes love heavy metal too. On some occasions, the snakes have even been seen going further than just headbanging and physically throwing themselves into the wall before an earthquake occurs. Jiang Wei Song, director of the Earthquake Bureau in Nanning, told the China Daily, Of all the creatures on the earth, snakes are perhaps the most sensitive to earthquakes. When an earthquake is about to occur, snakes will move out of their nests, even in the cold of winter. If the earthquake is a big one, the snakes will smash into the walls while trying to escape. By installing cameras over the snake nests, we have improved our ability to forecast earthquakes. The system could be extended to other parts of the country to make our earthquake forecasts more precise. The city of Nanning and its researchers are but one of many research facilities across the country which are currently looking into the events of snake headbanging and that of the prediction of earthquakes. So this is only the start people. I suppose a lot of this is trial and error and it's going to take time for earthquakes to come and go to determine how effective this will be in the future. Headbanging snakes isn't China's first venture into the world of animal behaviours and earthquakes, however. In 1975, authorities ordered over a million people to evacuate the city of Haicheng due to an earthquake hitting reaching 7.3 on the Richter scale, which, as far as earthquakes go, is a pretty cataclysmic event, claiming that animal evidence predicted the event. If you believe this or not, that's another story, but that's what they say anyway. 
The very idea of animals being used to predict natural disasters has been brought into question, and the research techniques used has been criticised in the past. According to the US Geological Survey, the earliest reference to unusual animal behaviour prior to a significant earthquake is from Greece in 373 BC. Rats, weasels, snakes and centipedes reportedly left their homes and headed for safety several days before a destructive earthquake. Accounts of similar animal anticipation for earthquakes has arisen over the past few centuries, including ideas such as catfish moving violently, chickens who stop laying eggs, and bees escaping their hives before the event. In the past, even pet owners have reported strange behaviours coming from their pets whilst an earthquake was occurring. Maisie noticed that her cocker spaniel stopped eating prior to an earthquake occurring. I mean, it could be the fact that your dog just wasn't hungry, but it's more likely because of the earthquake, right? The US Geological Survey have also considered other factors which may alter the routine behaviour of these animals. What we're faced with is a lot of anecdotes. Animals react to so many things, being hungry, defending their territories, mating, predators, so it's hard to have a controlled study to get that advanced warning signal. What they do say is that animals may be able to detect ground movements, however, the extent of detecting earthquakes is a different story. A more recent study exploring this idea further focused on three key earthquakes, one that occurred in 1984 in Japan, one in 2009 in Italy, and a further one in 2010 in New Zealand. During this time, the monitoring of animal behaviour showed no clear link. Animals were at different distances, they displayed these behaviours at different times, sometimes even months prior to the event, and no clear link was established. The original article going into detail of China's research into this area was quite some time ago. However, there has been a more recent incident that's occurred in June 2017, when a former member of Turkey's parliament had predicted an earthquake two hours before it occurred due to the behaviour of snakes. They sent out a fabled tweet and two hours later, a 6.2 Richter earthquake hit both the western coast of Turkey and also Greece. Since this event, the idea that snakes can predict earthquakes has once again been brought up into question, many disagreeing and saying that the fact snakes don't have ears is a good reason why they can't predict earthquakes, which, I mean, they're not wrong, they, they don't have ears. But what researchers say, which is probably a little bit more plausible, is the fact that inside of snakes' heads there is various apparatus which allows them to detect low frequency vibrations, which could result in them having the strange reactions when they sense the vibrations of a possible earthquake coming. So just to put some perspective on this, if a snake can detect low frequency vibrations, when an earthquake does actually hit, it's like you're hearing music and somebody turns the volume dial right to the top. It's ear shatteringly loud. And honestly, if that is the case, I certainly don't blame snakes for throwing themselves into a wall. Well, if you thought that was weird, Japanese myth believes in a giant catfish underground named Namazu, who violently shakes its tail, which causes earthquakes to happen. So if you believe that, then you'll probably believe everything I've told you before. So honestly, before doing all this research, surely it would have made more sense for them to have just gone and visited the catfish and to make sure he's not the one causing all these earthquakes, because to me, it sounds like a very avoidable problem, if you get what I mean. With this video, I could have really gone down the rabbit hole with various animals and their strange behaviours before an earthquake happens, but just from the research I have done, it does seem like snakes are probably the most likely who actually could predict earthquakes, or there being enough evidence to suggest they can. And honestly, I've done enough research about headbanging snakes for one day. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas as to what videos you'd like me to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. Right, enough about headbanging snakes, I'm going to go listen to some heavy metal and rock the hell out. Let me have a look here, ah there we go, the Celine Dion playlist. Perfect. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.